What's going on, everybody? Midnight Clock. Slaying Fire turns to a pumpkin. Okay, my adversary. These are all very good cards. I'm actually still enjoying Throne of Eldrain Limited, so... I actually think Midnight Clock is probably the strongest card. Little Man is at the vet today. That is correct. Um, I think blue is one of the strongest colors in this in this draft format. I'm going to take the Midnight Clock. Ooh, Epic Downfall. Ooh, Scorching Dragonfire and also Seven Dwarves number one. Do we just go deep on the Seven Dwarves? These three are all very good. Witching Well if we want to stay on color, but I think these are all worth not staying on color for. Lofof, what's going on? God, is this better than either of these two? Yeah, I'm taking that downfall. If there's a seven dwarves in this pack, I swear, though, I'm going to get real sad. I think blue is definitely one of the strongest cards colors in this, in this format. Uh, I don't even think it's really that close. I think whoever said it was not is not very familiar with the format. I mean, Merfolk Secret Keeper is like one of the strongest cards. Uh, Tome Raider is also one of the more solid cards. Um, there's also Claustrophobia. They're so tiny. There's uh, the 5 6 that bounces things. Like, I rode the mine train at Disney. That's such a. What a random thing to say. How you feeling, buddy? I think Foul Mine Knight's probably better than Tome Raider here. Like, this is just a. This is just a Tome Raider. That has Death Touch, right? Lost Legion, Mystic Sanctuary, Wish for More Folk, Vantress Paladin, and Witching Well. I think Witching Well is probably better than Lost Legion. Especially due to its synergies. Uh, what do I think about Field of the Dead getting banned? I think that card is miserable, and I think it probably should have been banned. Uh, honestly, though, I do think there are other problematic cards in Standard right now. And I did write uh, an article. Scavenger seems good. I like Flax and Intruder a lot in not in the, in the in the green deck, not so much in the blue black deck. I'm just gonna take Scavengers here. I think a second Witching Well is good, but I do like having Scavengers. You're talking about the Seven Doors. Wow, that's true. I guess. I guess I was. My esophagus isn't in the right place yet, but I gotta take the brace. Yeah. All right. So small victories. Small victories, buddy. Some people say this game is Clincy. Ampler, are you trying to say clunk? Do you mean clunky? Also, I mean Magic Online has been uh, has been around since like two thousand two, so like Magic Online, the 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 digital Magic client has been around for like literally fifteen years. So I mean, people are a little bit uh, a little bit a little bit slow on the on the opinion there. If if, if fifteen years later they're like, hey, wait a minute, this game is clunky, because I mean like. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, I, I think it's a great simulation. I mean, the real games, yeah, of course people are going to think the real game's better, but I mean, they can just play the real game then, you know? Like, I mean, you don't have to choose, right? Like, you can either play, if you want to play it online, you can play it online. If you want to play Paper Magic, you can play Paper Magic. Like, I personally enjoy Magic Online better because I don't have to get eight friends together to draft, and I can do it from the comfort of my home, which I think is more valuable than the alternative so
Yeah, also you don't really have to choose, right? Like I can I can play both. Uh let's just get it. Unexplained visions. Fill my eyes with unexplained visions. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Oh dear God. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, there's another Moonlit Scavengers, like we were looking for. I also like uh, Midnight Clock a lot here because it actually ramps us to this five, these five and six drops. So. I like playing online because I'm very pressed for time most of the time, having the freedom to throw up the client and play a couple matches. Yeah, like, it's not even close. Like, that's my opinion. Like... Festive Funeral is good. I mean, it's all right. I don't know. Like, I feel like we could trade a bunch of things and get some cards in our graveyard. I also think a second Witching Oil is fine. Wishful Merfolk's a great blocker. I think I'll take Festive Funeral. Oh, Spaghetti Toucher! Somebody touch my spaghetti! I think Scarecrow is actually pretty decent. Uh, surprisingly good for a. Four mana Vigilant guy that fixes your mana. I would get a Wishful Merfolk anyway. This is 12 cards that I'll actually play. I don't think any of these cards are unplayable, so. Somebody touch a my spaghetti. Wow, that is a late Flaxen Intruder. I don't think we saw another Seven Dwarves, so I think we made the right pick. Although the black has not been super uh, available. Opportunistic Dragon. Ooh, Revenge of Ravens is pretty decent here. I think having a Revenge of Ravens in your deck is pretty nice. Opportunistic Dragon with three toughness is just not that impressive. I'm going to take Revenge of Ravens. I don't think that pack is even close. There's like nothing in that pack, unfortunately. So I started a little bit early today because I was going to... Uh, because I was actually... Mike was going to show up again. And uh, for the third time in three days, he literally stood up, hanging out. So I got started early because I was like, you know what? I don't even know if he's going to show up today. And then he didn't. So, cool. Oh, baked into a pie? Oh, actually, Acclaimed Contender is really good, so we should probably audible to, to White X Knights. I'm going to take this baked into a pie, and I hope we get one more. pack is pretty rough. I don't think I want a third Moonlit Scavengers. Cauldron Familiar is alright. Especially if we get like Witch's Coven. Witch's Oven? Witch's Oven, not Coven. Yeah, I'll just take the dude. Uh, don't say please is not. It's not one of my favorites, but I, I do think it's actually pretty useful in this format. Uh, why no Cast Draft? Just because I, I've been enjoying... Um, Throne of Eldraine draft. 
Man, if we were mono blue, lock dragon for days. I guess we just take Reaper of Night, which I think is pretty fine. I'm not a huge Vantress Paladin fan. Like, I think it's not super easy to have, like... Um... Oh, Animating Fairy is great. Hypnotic Sprite is great. Oh, wow. Jeez. I think I like Hypnotic Sprite better. First, wait. I think I like the Sprite better. Ooh, Tome Raider. All right, now we're talking. This deck's looking great. Boom, doom, 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 doom. Yeah, we have another pack still? Jeez. Eh, whatever, take on their Scarecrow. Uh, I probably will write an article regarding Pioneer at some point. Um, I think the format's still a little, a little early. What decks am I said about? Like I have, I, I have not put that much thought into it yet. I did write an article about the, uh, the banned and restricted announcement that will be going up tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, I guess we'll just take another Reaper of Night. This is the Reaper of the Night. Whoa. I'm going to take Gargoyle. I got a little bit of the Mis Misford River Turtle, and we can actually just play it as an 03. Uh, sure. I mean, I like having enough artifacts for uh, Moonlit Scavengers, so. Shambling suit. Shambling suit. I mean, if we have Gargoyle, Shambling Suit, Scalding Cauldron, Witching Well, Mantle of Tides, Corridor, like we actually have a Midnight Clock, Shambling Suit could actually be decent. If it's like a 4 3. Yeah, I'm also not looking forward to figuring out like what is and isn't legal. And like, it's not only like, I, I don't think there's too many formats. Like, I actually like the abundance of formats. Like, I think I think it's a I think Pioneer is actually a really good place because modern is getting a little too um, big. So like if you're trying to get into a non-standard format to use your cards, like modern's just getting to a point where like it's not really ideal for that. But um, you know, Pioneer seems like it's pretty pretty easy to ooh, Guild's Goose. Pretty easy to fill that that gap, right? So but also the thing is like now that you have you have a a band list for, or not a band list, but a a, a, a a legal set list for like modern and for for pioneer, and it's like oh god. Yeah, this is only like a dollar, so I'm gonna just take baked into a pie number two because it's just that good. Oh, I love keeper of fables, and I love thunderous snapper. I don't think we're a lucky clover deck, although lucky clover into double reaper of night seems pretty insane. It's really only go to Falmire Knight and Reaper of Night. But there's nothing else in this pack, so maybe we just take it just in case. Crashing Drawbridge is okay. I don't think we're going to take Wicked Guardian. We also have a second Reaper of Night in the sideboard, which is worth noting. Pretty easy fairy vandal here. Oh, 
We can take out the cauldron familiar for now. A man can dream. Nope, didn't say please. Tome Raider. Yeah, like, as you could notice, like, I don't think we've passed a single Merfolk Secret Keeper. Do I want a second didn't say please? Or a second Tome Raider? I think I want the second didn't say please. And then we can just take this one if we wanted to. <laughs> Even this pack's kind of crazy. We have a Queen of Ice, a Witching Well, a Tome Raider, and a Sorcerer's Broom. I actually think Sorcerer's Broom is pretty decent. I'm going to take the Sorcerer's Room, actually. Because we already have, like, Witching Well, we have Scalding Cauldron, we have lots of ways to make food. It's also good for the Moonlit Scavengers. I mean, the other, the other option was Witching Well number two, but we also we already have Unexplained Vision and Midnight Clock uh, and Tome Raider. So we actually have a good amount of card advantage as well. I'm just going to take Giant Skewer, so we have Giant Skewer and Mantle of Tides. Tome Raider. Like, how many cards go well with Shambling Suit right now? It's like eight artifacts slash enchantments. That's a good amount. Corridor monitor as well, which I don't really care about that much. Nine is a good amount. Oh, Ashler for Revenge of Ravens. That's a lot. Oh, wow. That's a late bog naughty. <coughs> wow, that's crazy. Yep, that's an easy pickup. I wish we had more ways to make food, but even if like you don't have the food, it's still a 3-3 three, three flyer for 5. Clover doesn't do a ton in our deck. We also need to make 4 cuts right now, and our deck is so good that like it's going to be hard to do. I think we actually do cut some of the non art Like, Shambling Suit is probably meh. You probably cut a counter spell. That is a late okay ranger that I'm going to deny someone, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. There's a late Thunderous Snapper, too. Jeez, mono green deck would be nice. Oh, wow, that's a late Queen of Ice. Jeez. Still need to make five cuts here. Three cuts. Festive funeral, not as good. Just 
two cuts. Hmm. Tempted to cut a Tomb Raider, but we do have Fairy Vandal, which makes me less tempted to do so. Oh, I do like, I do like, yeah, I do like Giant Screw because of that overmantle of Tides, I think. And let's also go to Sorcerer's Broom. I guess, yeah, we can probably Thank cut Scarecrow. You. Munsonster, send, send some of them good vibrations for my pupper Zoe, only three years old, and she went under the knife. This morning to rub bladder stones. Just have to sit and wait. She's really... Oh, man, dude. I'm so sorry. Best wishes for Zoe. Also, Lil Man is at the vet right now. He has some crystals in his urine. And we have to try to get rid of those. He's been straining to urinate, unfortunately. Man. We can take out Scalding Cauldron. Like, we already have Epic Downfall, Double Baked into a Pie, Bog Naughty, Double Moonlit Scavengers. Um, we have Witching Will, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if we make the food. Yeah, I think this is probably pretty good. Monsanto, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. And uh, I wish the puppers the best. Snap keep. Ideally, we find a fairy vandal and then we just go, you know, fairy vandal. This is a solid curve. We did not find a fairy vandal. I'm going to bottom this, but I'll keep the baked into a pie. We just need a second black, so that second island is not going to do it. Get a load of this guy. I'm just going to pass here. Thank you. Another non-human. All right. Cyborg UA 11. Wow, 11 year anniversary. That's a lot, dude. Uh, no blocks. Why would you ask me? I cannot believe you've done this. Second black source. Oh, we did it. This is actually a very good curve now. Bake into a pie, guarantee some food. We can crack this if we need to. Yep, we're definitely... Uh, windmill slamming a removal spell on that dude. Oh wow, really? Hmm. Fascinating. Is there any incentive to not wait? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna pass here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do uh, at instant speed. Plus this encourages them to go into combat, which means we can kill this guy before they play something. Yeah, if they wanna waste a fling on that, that's fine. But so now we only take one, which I'm okay with. Okay, second Grum Gully. Seems good. Dude, Monsonster. No worries at all, man. I uh, definitely know the feeling of 
sick pets, man. It is not fun. Do I just trade with the Grumgully? I don't think so. Are they going to let me? I don't think so. Oh, okay. No more cards in hand. I think this is actually fine because then we can scavengers bounce this guy. They have no good attacks. Oh, that'll do. All right. <laughs> and this is why we throw the Bognati away. So next turn, we would have been able to uh, draw two with Witching Well. Would have hit Reaper and Island. Not super exciting. Probably just play the... All right. That's actually... Midnight Clock at that point is actually pretty good. I kind of want the Scalding Cauldron because it just kills their Grum Gullies, which needs to be done. It just has to be done. Um... Uh, could just play 41 I'm okay with it oh we just win the match all right good games good games good games but they were not good games they were bad games <sighs> Maybe too slow for didn't say please, but uh Any trip highlights? Um I mean just just being able to see Katie for a couple days is always nice. Um, I feel like I just keep both of these. Sure, I'm in. Any trip low lights? God, these are good questions. This is the Reaper of the Night. Whoa. Oh, yeah. How was the lighting on the trip in general? Wow, you guys are amazing. Can I subscribe to you guys? Because that's this is really the content I'm here for. Yikes. Yeah, 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 yikes. Nah, you gotta do the work. We're just here for the memes. Wow. You know what? Me too. Me too. I'm gonna say no to this because you have two cards and it gives this guy float and I just don't feel like dealing with it. Shh, okay. Well in my face I guess we'll take four here well you have one card in hand so I'm not thrilled about uh, making you discard things but we can actually pass and then if like depending on what happens here we could either witching well or bake in a bake into bake into a pie yeah that's fine like, they, if they equip one dude, we can block the other. 
Seems pretty nice. They're probably just equipped with this attack with everybody. Which is fine. Okay. So they have no cards in hand. Sure. Yeah, that's a thing, all right. This seems pretty easy. Go to eight. But then we have like two food. We get to kill a dude next turn. Don't care about that. Yeah, so they basically have no good attacks here. And we also have Hypnotic Sprite, which I imagine counters most of the cards in their deck. Sure. <clears throat> that guy is delicious. Do 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 do. Hmm. If they're just gonna hold their last card, he might actually Reaper of Night here. Fascinating. Nice. That's actually good to know, because now if we played the Reaper of Night, they would just have a great target for it. So, works out pretty decently. Yep, one seven dwarf, which they are going to give haste to and attack with. We're not going to crack this yet because we just don't need to. I actually want to get rid of this because if this gets any bigger, we just can't block it. Huh, it's actually pretty decent. This is actually why we didn't crack the food. So, works out pretty well. And I don't want to attack with Vandal, don't want to take an extra two in the air. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was like, maybe they drew a trick. They did not draw a trick as far as I can tell. <sighs> Fascinating. My internet connection's also being real shit right now, so. We only get eight mana. Like, I don't want to play this and then just, like, get nugged for, like, five if they draw, like, Searing. Or take three, they kill, like, this guy. <sighs> Go to one. I think I'd just rather keep, uh... I think we can wait. Oh, man, the green screen wrinkles. Yeah, they're real right now. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just going to pass here. Like, we have Hypnotic Sprite to counter, Baked into a Pie. You like movies and stuff? What do you think about the trailers for the movie The Lighthouse? I have not seen them, so I could not tell you. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Did you see Parasite yet? No, I don't even know what that is either. The 
Thank you. Oh, some elf with the resub. My dude. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you. Do you attack with the Archon? Apparently you do. Wow, oh, that's fascinating. Let's get in there with this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven. What's going on, Odin? Well, they're paying some costs. That is fine. I will block. Okay. Uh, yep. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna not block, so. Sure, that's still a trade. That's still a fine trade. And these creatures are pretty rough. Oh, corridor monitor, eh? Five, so we can go one, two, three, four, still keep up Sprite. Oh, it's untaps a creature though. Yeah, let's just attack with both. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep up not hypnotic sprite. Like the number of things it counters is, is too good. Scorching dragon fire, slaying fire, I don't know what those cards are called. I imagine we just win this game. Yep, that is fine. And they have no cards left. So two, three, four, so they have to double block this guy, either one of them. literally none of them um and this is six in the air and we can actually just play the hypnotic sprite and kill them next turn we have two blocks we have ten life We can also attack with six, so nine, ten. We can also attack with both. Seems a little risky, though. Yeah, we're at ten. We have two blockers. I think we're okay. Yep, had a feeling we would win. I think our deck is actually pretty good. I could see Reaper of Night being too slow. I could see another Wishful Merfolk being fine. Or a Scalding Cauldron again. Yeah, I could see that. Get that witch in there, more food. I could see the witch too. 
this hand while expensive does seem fine. <clears throat> this guy. What just happened? Oh, and thank you so much for the bits, man. Really appreciate it. With that double vision. Ooh. Um, I don't foresee us actually being able to take advantage of this, so I'm just gonna block. And they had nothing else. Next time we can bog naughty and then oh yeah, that's real good. Uh oh, no red, huh? No, oh, that guy's fine. Bognani. Well, we don't have actually any uh any food to sacrifice. It's almost tempting to just trade. But we're at twenty, so we're not gonna do that just yet. They're also missing a color, so we're going to go Vandal into Tome Raider. Ideally hit a land. Did not hit a land. Okay. So we cannot attack here. We can also Scalding Cauldron this, which is probably better, because it's on board. Uh-oh. Only uh, seven hours left, guys. On a scale of Mike to Rob, how do you rank your fanhood? No way are they attacking with that guy. What in the earth? It's like the easiest block I've ever made. Our hand is so stacked right now. Jeez. I feel like we just want to play Unexplained Vision here. Because we can't play anything else. Like, I don't think a Corridor Monitor is that exciting. And I want to hit land drops, so. And it's just going to go away anyway. Um, so this turn we're not going to be able to play anything else other than Swamp, right? We just go Swamp. And then nothing else. The next turn we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. So we can play Monitor Scavengers. I just don't think we need either of these. I will keep the land. After midnight, we're gonna shovel all our brain hand in the graveyard and draw some new cards. Okay, so now we're in what's known as a commanding position. Double Moonlit Scavengers is not really beatable in my humble estimation. So what we can do is play... Oh, we're gonna play this with one, two... Monitor, untap, scavengers, bounce, archon, attack for six. Our deck is pretty insane. So it's going to go nine, ten, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on our turn. So we get one more turn with these cards. Claim the first one. I'll take three. If they got a fling, I'd be impressed. Oh my god, they do have a fling. Wow. I was impressed. We can also bake into a pie next turn in response to the midnight clock, which seems great. Um, 
I, you know, I don't think any of these are going to matter, right? So if they play Archon, we go bake into a pie, kill the Archon. I mean, we have like a bunch of things on like our, our deck is. Our deck is very good. Baby shark. Inspiring veteran. Untap. Trigger on the stack. Trigger, trigger on the stack. Draw seven. Yikes. And play this guy. Oh, I guess we're going to get to draw a card for the turn. Oh, dang it. They didn't even let me draw my card for the turn. I guess the game was pretty much over. We kill this and then we attack for 3,000 damage. Okay. Well, this has been a quick draft. We could still lose this last round. Just played you, figured I'd jump in and say hello to chat. Hope all's well. Augwest, good games, man. Good games. My deck uh, seems pretty good. So, um, yeah. Good games, though. Good, good games. I assume there were some fling shenanigans happening. Come on, let's go find this league opponent. That's my buddy Scam Likely. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah. Oh, we're doing it. Fairy Vandal into Cycle Foulmire Knight. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Imitate purple and brown. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what you're saying right now. You sound like a maniac. Ha ha! Was it that noise? I don't even know. I don't even know. That's all I can say. Yikes. Okay. Dang it. I was really hoping we'd build a fairy vandal here, but 
Maybe they're not. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're not. They did. Sure, Ginger Brute. Sure. Okay, this is good. I like this. Because now we have Sprite and Falmire Knight up. Okay. Yeah, Super NES, I, I would actually agree that Super NES is one of the best gaming consoles ever created, if not the best gaming console ever created. Well. Oh, I see. I understand now. Oh, we actually couldn't have pumped this guy. That was pretty dumb. But I'm not going to play it on my turn. I don't think the plus one, plus one is actually necessarily worth the... Uh, the difference there. Oh, why didn't I counter that? Actually, you're right. I didn't even think about it. Oh my god. I was so locked into like, okay, you're playing this, you're tapping out, I can block one of these guys. Yeah, that was actually a phenomenal misplay. I was also interacting with chat as well, I don't know if you guys noticed. Would you say that was a punt? Probably. I don't like to admit it because then you guys get a little punt crazy, but... Oh, no attacks whatsoever, huh? And Garen Brig Paladin. You got it. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Yeah, so we're just keeping up baked into a pie here. But also Hypnotic Sprite, so. My granddaddy always said trust the pie. Did he really? Welp. I'm so hungry. Bognati's actually pretty good here. We got a food. Midnight clock. You're interesting. One, two, three, and then we have three left, so we can keep up hypnotic sprite. Interesting, interesting. I actually don't have any guesses for what that is. That's interesting. We have a lot of decent blockers here, but I really don't want them to be like a Keeper of Fables attack with just Ginger Brute. Can't block it, and then I get sad. So I kind of just want to pass here and keep up the other Baking No Pie, because I think Keeper of Fables is probably one of the better creatures to to bake into a pie. <laughs> 
I mean, we could also play Midnight Clock, play Monitor for one, two, three, for one, two, untap the clock, and then play Merfolk, Wishful Merfolk as well, but that does give them an extra card. What up, Enrico? Enrico. Okay, I mean, that's actually, that's fine. Yep, that's also fine. Okay, so now we can bake, baked into a pie, bake into a pie here. And they have one card in hand, so I'm not super concerned. A land would be nice. I'm just looking for just looking for lands here. Okay, well. Men in Black 2 or 3. You don't even know what movie you're quoting. Unbelievable. I'm not going to attack for 1 because it lets them attack for 1 a lot easier. I guess it, I guess it doesn't. I don't even know what's going on here. We're at 9. Watch them play like Ginger Brute and make this dude like a 9-9. Nine nine. And then we're like, well, we used all our baked into pies. Oh, Christ. Seems good. That's a pretty easy block, I think. Okie dokie. I guess it was not an easy block. Yep, this is a match we are going to lose because they had lots of things. I think not countering this thrill of possibility when we have Hypnotic Sprite in our hand this whole game has been... Uh, that was probably our biggest punt. Trample, huh? If we hit another land, we could theoretically just kill this twice and block here, right? Like, I mean, that's actually very good. I keep wanting to bring in this Scalding Cauldron. I think it's actually very good in this format, but... I think Reaper is actually good in this matchup. I think Didn't Say, don't say, didn't say Please is actually decent, too. Epic Downfall would be great against uh, Troll King, so it would Fortify. Frogify, not Fortify. I don't know why I call it Fortify. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. I don't think this hand is super good, but it does have things we need, like lands. And uh, creature to hold down the fort. Oh, Sorcerer's Broom. Do I even play the broom? I don't think so. Maybe. Like, if they don't have a 2-drop, it gets in there. I guess that's fine. I mean, my concern is that they play, like, Ginger Brute and we take an unnecessary point. But I guess if they attack, then we get in there for 2, so. Has there been a, a cringy Val Kilmer interview recently? Because that sounds sweet. Sure, that's fine. I feel like I could really get behind a cringy Val Kilmer interview. Okay.
I mean, if we get one more land, right? Three and oh, two more lands, I guess. Either way, two lands lets us make a free 2-2. Two -two. Haglarino. Um... He's still your huckleberry. Hey, he's you show some respect. He's still your huckleberry. I kind of just want to kill this, to be honest with you. So I'm going to do it. I think Hunter dropped his little, his little bone on the floor. We're hoping to hit a land here. We did not. We did not hit that land. I guess we're hoping they don't hit Troll King right now. Well, they don't have four green, so that's good. Yeah, all right. That's that's actually good. Now that we got rid of the Merchant of the Veil, vale. and we get to keep up. Didn't say please, which is nice. How about a land now? Still no. Okay. Well. Shut up and take my money. Oh. One Huckleberry dollar. All right. All right. I can get behind the Huckleberry dollar. Oh, thanks, man. Really appreciate it, bud. Really appreciate it, Mayhem. I'm your huckleberry. Oh boy. I think it's better to use this than to sit on it forever. Wow, two artifact removal spells. That's funny. Don't you, don't you untap on me. I mean, this is a fine trade if they want to trade Mad Ratter for Sorcerer's Room. If they also have Thrill, it's good. Sure. I mean, that's not hitting a, a fifth land on turn seven is not ideal. Missed three land drops. I mean... A tree, folk. Another fucking six drop. Super cool. That's really, that's actually really sweet. Doesn't have reach, right? No, that'd be, that would be ridiculous. Land, land would be nice, but. Unfortunately, I think we're at the mercy of our opponents. Uh, whatever. Well, this deck seemed too good to to not lose a game, so we will just have to be uh, thrilled with a two-one, I guess. Yeah, I definitely would not have tapped a green to do that because now you can't cast Feasting Troll King if you have it. Cool.
I'll just take six. If we get any green source, we got baked into a pie. Or black source, rather. How are you? Thanks so much for the, for the, for the bits, man. I really appreciate it. Wrong color. <sighs> yep. Okay, they have no cards in hand. Let's see if they how badly they want to draw one. If they're gonna like throw a bunch of these dudes away. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not. Don't you. Thank you. Hey, there's a swamp. Wow, would you look at that. Oh, Juposhi. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, man. All right, so they have one, two, three, four, five, seven attackers. And we have five blockers, so two can get through. <sighs> Fortunately, we are... Uh... Sure. Yep, that's unfortunate. So next turn we're probably going to bake this Keeper of Fables into a pie. Is this guy get plus one, plus one, and trample? Sure. What are you tapping? Yep, you still get to draw your card. You still get to make two rats. Yeah, that was insane. Yep, if we had that black source any turn sooner, we could have killed this. We could have prevented them from making two more. Wow. What a fucking phenomenal turn. What an actual joke. And of course we get a black card, so we can't even play both. If we block these four, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can go to one and and block all of them, but but the rats. Like we'll have one, two, three, four attackers. Yep, that's game. That's amazing. I mean, I guess we could gain life. Jeez, I don't know how we're surviving though. I'll be honest. Especially when Gingerbread is unblockable for the rest of our lives. Shut up and take my money. 1333. I'm worried about Frank's November. Me too, man. This has been the lowest month ever, I think. I don't think we, there's been a month that we haven't actually hit until this month, which is kind of surprising. Yep, there you go. Okay, two three on. Well, you're a three three now. Two three on two two. Thank you. One four on two one 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 on. Oh, they all get trampled too. So I'm. I think I'm. Well, I guess I'm not dead. Dead. And we have to block this three three, don't we? All right. So we're taking one two three four five six seven eight. Dimitri, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
just to be on the safe side. Still can't make any broom, any broomy boys. They just never run out of creatures. So we if we bounce one, they still have one, two, three, four, five creatures, and we have three blockers. So we're basically dead. Yep, we tried. We tried. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore, patreon.com slash franklapore. The link is in the description below. You can just click on it. And if you want to donate $1 or $2 a month, not even per stream, not per video, per month, it really, I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. It's a great way to support the content. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.